All right. Let's look at this one real quick. R equals 4 cosine of theta. Now this one, squaring doesn't really work. And we have a cosine. It's just not multiplied by an r. So in this case, I'm going to multiply by an r on both sides. Therefore, I get an r squared equals 4r cosine of theta. r squared, x squared plus y squared. 4r is 4x. So what do I do here? Well, let's get everything to the same side. x squared minus 4x plus y squared equals 0. Does anybody know what we can do here? <sighs> we can actually complete the square. Whoa, completing the square has come back. Yes, it has. Take your negative 4, divide it by 2, and square it, which is equal to a positive 4. So therefore, I'm going to get a x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared. And then I'm going to subtract the 4 to the other side. Now I can go ahead and um, complete the square. So this becomes x minus 2 squared plus y squared. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to add that, not plus. Equals 4. Does anybody know what this is? Another circle. It is another circle that has a radius of 2 that is shifted two units to the right. So it looks something like this. B divided by 2 squared, which I didn't write. And then you just add it to both sides, right? All right, guys, that's it. And again, if you want to, like I think many of you guys already typed those into your calculator. Some of you did.